I turned 36 and to overcome yet another phobia. This one being claustrophobia. Oh yeah! Uh, last year was kind of the whole scuba diving aspect of, uh, you know, being in the water number one with gigantic sharks. And number two of being able to actually, you know, use a rebreather and actually get my, get over my fear of going down there and, you know, kind of getting too excited. Now, when it comes to cave diving, this is something I thought I would never be doing, but when the opportunity presents itself and you're in the Galapagos and you just turned 36, you take it. Uh, life's too short not to. So first things first, I strapped the tank of oxygen on and jumped in the water and was presented with one of the most unique experiences of my life. And again, I've had a lot. Whoa! It's one of those mystical moments when, you know, you, you approach something that's so so majestic and you really are engulfed in the majesty behind it. Um, coming up on these fish, I mean, I, I thought it was a rock wall at first. Lo and behold, it's millions of these tiny sardine-like fish and they all moved in unison. So it was like a living organism that was just gigantic and stretched as far as the eye could see. And you know, you see a lot of that stuff on the Discovery Channel and Planet Earth and all that, where you see like, wow, I would love to be in the middle of that. We kind of blindly followed Ronnie into this bait ball. And again, when the, when the fish surrounded you, it was just, ah, oh my God, it was, it, it, it was almost indescribable. It's just, it's, it's mesmerizing. And you know, you get lost in it. And me having this oversized camera, I was in heaven. So once we finished with the bait ball, um, which again was just magical, uh, it was time for the cave dive. Feel that heart rate just start to go up, go up, go up as you start to enter this cave. It looks so small when you're when you're looking at it underwater, but the closer you get, you see this this minuscule opening that there's like you're no way we're gonna fit through there, and fit through there we did. This is where evolution kind of comes into it. The entire point of this trip was to evolve myself and become a better version of who I am and how I operate in life. This was the defining moment of it. As we crept deeper and deeper into this cave, that heart rate started to bump and you know, it got to the point to where I think I had a mini panic attack, but, and this is where the evolution aspect of it came into it. I shut my eyes and I just basically sat there and said, Ivan, grow the fuck up. This is the moment you've been looking for, embrace it. And I normalized my breathing, I refocused my energy, and I became a better version of myself in the middle of a cave, 60 feet underwater, in the Galapagos, on my birthday, balls fucking deep. Evolution, that was the whole point of this trip, and that was my evolution moment. Rock and roll, balls deep, never stop living. <laughs>